Let's make America vegan again. How can I be friends with the Trumps and be vegan? Well, that's interesting. How can we celebrate the resurrection by slaughtering an animal? What about fish? It's not in our best interest to eat swimming meat. It's we still were meat. Just kids when we fell in love. Talking about successful Greeks, right? A Greek is like a like a Jew with a boat. <laughs> I'm just trying to be the best version of myself that I can. I'm just coming back to really the way our yayas and papus probably ate. The reason I was eating animal foods is because I realized I was just following orders. Hello, I am Philip Nikazisis. Welcome to my vegan home here in beautiful and sunny West Palm Beach, Florida. I'm a Greek American. I'm the son of an immigrant war refugee. I have been vegan for 10 years. Like the rest of us, I grew up on a diet of meat, dairy products, and eggs. I just find it a little bit ironic. I mean, I identify as an Orthodox Christian. How can we celebrate the resurrection by slaughtering an animal? The animals were really created to live celebratory and purposeful lives. How do we celebrate Easter? Very, very easily, we don't celebrate it with death. The resurrection, we celebrate with life. We're gonna make a vegan margarita. You can't be Greek and not like garlic, right? You're not kissing anybody later today, are you? This is a lupini beans. This is a little secret weapon I have. Vegan chicken broth. This is soya. Now we're gonna go with the big boy. It's interesting that we have to come up with a word vegan just to describe really what I feel is our natural state as human beings. The NFL players, the Olympic athletes, and all these people are all switching over to a plant-based diet. And they're thriving because our bodies were not meant to, to run on meat, dairy products, and eggs. That's a con job by who? By salespeople in the food industry, telling us to eat protein, eat protein, eat protein. No one's ever been in the hospital for a protein deficiency. The number one disease in all of the developed world is what? Heart disease, right? It's always different with me. Everything turns out different every time. So now, I think what we have is a hybrid of uh, avgolemino and uh, margarita. It's a, wow. Somehow they, they made a baby, those two. It's basically a bean soup that I put in the blender. I think that plant-based diet is in profound alignment with Republican principles. And that includes taking responsibility for our health. And so from a public policy standpoint, I like the idea of saving maybe $2 trillion a year on health care. Both parties take money from the meat and dairy industry. No U.S. president was a vegan. I really believe that President Trump is going to eventually be vegan. You know, he likes the physical aesthetic. He has a beautiful wife. He loves beautiful people. And when he realizes that he can be a beautiful person physically by going to plants, and he does it, and then he feels better, and he thinks better, I think it's going to be great. turning 50 and I was, uh, I was going through my Facebook, I came across a Facebook ad that said, keep your job, see the world, leave the planning to us. I was like, what is that? What I realized is that I could be anywhere and live up to my responsibilities as the property uh, portfolio manager. And so I did just that. About halfway through, all this cool stuff was happening. I was inspired. My book became a number one bestseller in seven countries. Have laptop, will travel. Memoirs of a Digital Nomad, 12 Cities, 12 Months. Number one in sales in the business travel category. What I learned is the only person you can change is yourself. All you can do is do your part and be an example, and I think that the rest follows.